All right, it's time for yet another Ada box. I'm so excited. This one has batteries, which is kind of interesting. I'm curious to see if maybe this is a um, uh, what's Magtag. Uh, that's the new product they've been talking about a lot. Um, but whatever it is, it could be interesting. I'm also thinking maybe it's some kind of Christmas ornament. So let's find out. Let's open her up. So I've got this paper here. Since this was all over the front porch, don't necessarily want to get my desk all dirty. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, good fortune ahead. Ooh, it's in a real Ada box inside here. Last time they didn't because they couldn't fit it in for some reason. Last time being this guy here. Let's see if I can bring him over here without. So, uh, I had I have changed the Halloween thing to now be a Christmas countdown, and um, Scarlet has made all the graphics. Um, so, huh, eleven days, eleven hours. Eleven, eleven. So that's counting down till Christmas. Okay. Let's take a look at the new Ada box. I'm so excited. Ooh. Very interesting here. Good fortune ahead. Who knows what the future may hold? The best way to predict the future is to help invent it. This time last year, would you believe any predictions if you knew what was ahead? I know I wouldn't have. Our fates may be up to chance, or maybe they are predestined. But we know what you'll be doing for the next few weeks, at least. Learning and exploring electronic paper with a mag tag. Yes, yes, yes. I was hoping it was a mag tag. A battery-powered e-ink display built with built-in Wi-Fi. We're all going to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen this holiday, so why not code up something and attach it to your fridge? Gaze deeply into the, this Ada box and visualize your future products. A daily horoscope, weather forecaster, inspirational quotes, a kitchen clock, timer or clock. All is possible with our easy circuit Python projects. Oh, that's so cool. I was hoping it would be one of those. Uh, huge thanks to Jizuki for going above and beyond to help support Adafruit in the last few months. All right, so the contents. We've got <clears throat> one Adafruit mag tag, which has the new ESP32S2. Sweet. I actually just bought a feather that has an ESP32S2. Um, that's going to be for my barbecue project. I'm moving away from the um, Arduinos, and I'll explain more about that in a uh, future either video or blog post. Um, 2.9 inch grayscale e-ink display to make a low power IoT display that can show data on its screen even when power is removed. One lithium polymer battery. Plug it into the MagTag once you're happy with your project so it can run anywhere. It will auto charge when you connect it, the board to the USB. One acrylic faceplate kit. The clear backplate protects the battery. The front plate can be a fluffy, friendly cloud or a jaunty crimson arrow. Include some M3 screws to attach the acrylic pieces. That's really cool. Magnetic feet. Squeeze to the back of the MagTag to make it stick to ferrous things like a shelf, desk, or fridge. One NeoPixel strip. What's a holiday without lights? This one meter long NeoPixel strip plugs right into the MagTag and has 30 RGB LEDs. One magnetic whiteboard and markers. Use this as an everyday whiteboard. <laughs> Part of the background for your MagTag. One magnetic sticker sheet. Uh, this is thin and flexible magnetic sheet that can be cut with scissors. You can turn it. Use it to turn any non ferrous surface magnetic. Or you can make custom magnetic stickers by attaching it to the back of a photo or printout. That's really cool. Then we've got a USB-C adapter. And a sparkly face mask. Ooh, I love their face masks. The one with the last Ada box was a very, very cool one. Uh, very, very good quality. All right, so let's, let's open her up. Let's get back over here. I love this paper. It always makes it seem so special. So nice. Alright, let's put this to the side for a minute. Wow, the mag tag is so tiny. It always these things always seem so much bigger uh, on TV when they're doing their uh well, I mean they are <laughs> they are using a magnifying uh, overhead, but that's really cool. These must be the NeoPixels. They usually come in a bag like this. 
Here are the markers. Let's see, let's open this up. So this is the magnetic whiteboard and markers. Okay. Heavy. All right, so one of these, I think this one's going to be the sticker. Sticker sheet, yeah. Very cool. I think this this is the whiteboard. This feels like a whiteboard. And of course, these are magnetic too, so that they will um, stick onto the fridge along with it. So this is a magnet, right? Oops, over here. And yeah, it's probably not strong enough. All right. So then we've got here. We've got the cloud. We've got the red arrow. We've got just a clear faceplate. So I'll probably go with the cloud. And. Then Here's the magnetic holders. This is what will hold it to the fridge. All right, that's really cool. Let's take a take a look at the mag tag here. So I've actually got one of these on my Adafruit uh, wish list. Um, I've been, ever since they showed it off, I was like, oh, that's so cool. And what I've been thinking of doing is making, making not just a... Um, a weather station or weather uh, report because you know we've got cell phones for that too but combine that with maybe a little reminder like if it's trash day to take out the trash or if it's recycling day take out the recycling so if I look here oh that's so cool so, so there it is look at that so the last thing that they put on there says DigiKey electronics and as you can see, it's an e-ink, just like uh, my e-reader. I've got a Kobo. And so that'll just stay on there forever until it's refreshed. Um, so up here, we've got one, two, three, four NeoPixels that we can shine different lights to maybe mean different things. And we've got a bunch of buttons here, so we can maybe program it to show the forecast for one side or the other. Um, here's the back of it. And um, so back here, here's the battery connector. We'll learn what A1 and D10 are. Here's the USB-C interface. And then these are buttons for programming or, or um, loading the bootloaders on there. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to order one of these so badly, but they've all been out of stock. And that's the whole reason why I don't have one yet. <laughs> I just realized right here where it says MagTag, that's a refrigerator. That's really cool. And then these are the standoffs where the magnetic holders in this bag would go. Um, so here's our battery. Cute little flat battery. 420 uh, milliamp hours. All right, let's take a look at our NeoPixel strip here. Uh, I might need some scissors for that. Let's see. Oh, maybe it'll open this way. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. So I've already got like a really large one, so it's nice to have a small strip. All right. And finally, let's take a look at the mask. Oh, man. Disco time mask. All right, very cool. So this is this is exciting. Look at all this here in the Ada box. They really they always do a really good job making it seem like you're really getting an awesome deal for for um, for your money in the Ada box. And you know, in the case of the mag tag or the uh, clue back when the clue was new, this is usually your best chance to get the newest board that they've been working on when it is um, out of stock for everyone else. So I'll probably start working on some kind of project for this later today, if not in the next couple days. And yeah, I'm really excited about where that's going to go. So uh, what do you, if you guys also got an Ada box, why don't you comment and say what you got? Um, also, keep an eye out soon, uh, uh, maybe in the next day or so, whenever they think most people have gotten their boxes. John Park will do an unboxing as well, and you'll get an idea of some of the things that he's going to do with it. Usually they'll unbox it and then they'll do at least one project to show you uh, the things you can do with it.
So, yeah, I'm. I can't contain how excited I am about this. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.